Teratosuspermia shouldn't stop you from having a baby. Hi, I'm Oriana Cortez, phlebotomist and andrology technician at Ingenes Orange County. And today I want to talk about one of the main problems men might face when failing to have a baby. Teratosuspermia or teratospermia is an alteration of semen, which occurs when more than 96% of sperm have an abnormal shape. A normally shaped sperm cell has an oval head, a slight thicker neck, and an uncoiled tail of a specific size. When a man has teratosuspermia, his sperm can show two heads, a deformed neck, or a coiled tail, among other strange shapes. How do we know if there's a teratosuspermia problem? This condition has no symptoms. And in order to detect it, you must be evaluated by a physician and specialist in fertility and assisted reproductive technology. The specialist will perform an analysis of the seminal fluid through a test called seminogram. How is the seminogram performed? First, it is important that the man who will be attending the test does so without having ejaculated for a previous period of three to five days before the procedure but no longer than this. The man will provide a sample of his seminal fluid, which will be taken to a specialized laboratory for analysis. The shape of the sperm is carefully reviewed by andrologists who specialize in male reproductive health issues. How is teratosuspermia diagnosed? A semen sample with moderate teratosuspermia will show between 85 and 96% of sperm with abnormal shapes. A semen sample with severe teratosuspermia will show more than 96% of the sperm with abnormal shapes. How can you have a baby if you're facing teratosuspermia problems? There are three different options for you to achieve it, despite living with that condition. One, artificial insemination. This treatment's goal is to capacitate healthy sperms in a specialized lab and enhance their potential. They are then introduced into the woman's uterus, considering the woman's fertility window and doing it at the right time. However, I must tell you that this low complexity method is only recommended for people with moderate teratosuspermia. As long as a woman is under 35 years of age and does not have problems that affect her own reproductive health. Two, in vitro fertilization, known as IVF. This treatment allows the union of the egg with the best quality sperm, which has been previously enhanced to improve its potential in a specialized IVF laboratory. Once the embryo is formed, it is placed inside the uterus to continue its development there. In vitro fertilization is recommended in cases of moderate teratosuspermia and when the woman is over the age of 35. Three, IVF with ICSI technique or sperm microinjection. This method consists in selecting a single sperm of the best quality, which is previously trained to improve its potential in a specialized IVF laboratory. That sperm is injected directly into the mature egg. And once the embryo is formed, it is placed into the uterus to continue its development. IVF using the ICSI technique is recommended in cases of severe teratosuspermia. This is the option with the highest success rates to have a baby, offering up to 96% success rate under a scheme of several cycles or different IVF attempts. Now you know, teratosuspermia shouldn't prevent you from having a baby, but it is important to seek professional help. Come meet our team of fertility experts at Ingenes, where you will have the best chance of achieving your pregnancy and bringing your own baby home.